Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today we wanted to take a look at right-handed curveballs. If you reflect back on our inflection point talk about curveballs, you will remember that velocity is the most important factor in indicating pitch success with this. So as we're looking here at the graphs to both right-handed and left-handed hitters, we can see that getting above 80 miles an hour is simply that threshold to make this pitch good to both righties and lefties. Something that's unique here is that in terms of vertical break, the depth right on right is actually not that important. So something we talk about with velocity, depth, spin efficiency, trade-off is of course having to throw a pitch slower for more depth. In this scenario, we can see that right on right adding depth is not necessarily essential for success. We look here against lefties from a right-handed pitcher, depth does become a little more important with that. There are guys, of course, who have outlier qualities across the board. Charlie Morton is a guy who really jumps out as having those qualities with his curveball. Essentially, it serves as a sweepy slider, a depthy curveball with good velocity being above 80 miles an hour. So he's checking all those boxes and you can see this pitch performs extremely well to both handed hitters. However, there are some different examples uh, depending on the curveball shape velocity where we can see some variance in that. One guy I wanna talk about was Garrett Cole. So Garrett Cole's WOBA to left-handed hitters was 356, 330 to righties. However, an important note is against left-handed hitters, Cole's slider had a 390 WOBA again. So his curveball performs better than the slider to left-handed hitters. So with that in mind, this is coming back to the argument of depth versus sweep to the opposite hand hitters. And we can see that hold true in this scenario. Another guy who has more of a sweepy curveball profile is Jose Barrio who had a 295 Woba against the left-handed hitters. And while that Woba number might not jump out to you, it is important because other than his changeup, that is his best performing pitch to lefties. Therefore, the usage obviously has to reflect with that. You see this with Garrett Cole as well. He throws more curveballs to lefties than to righties. So that's a trend that you really should pay attention to if you're able to obtain more depth with that good respective velocity. Throwing it to the opposite hand can be very beneficial. So no matter what the shape of this pitch might be, remembering the parameters that we're trying to check across the board here. Velocity over 80, right on right creating any depth is beneficial. And then sweep, we of course can have the 12-6 or a little bit more of a sweepy profile, doesn't matter that much. So in general, if you have a good curveball, think about utilizing it more to the opposite hand. That Woba might surprise you with how much better it's doing than your other pitches. If you remember back to inflection points, something we talked a ton about with sliders was that velocity, efficiency, kind of trade off there to either promote more side spin for sweep, if you're trying to catch the seam shift slider, obviously making sure you're not sacrificing a ton of velocity. So look at the inflection points with how sliders perform to right-handed hitters versus left-handed hitters for a right-handed pitcher really is what you would predict. And thinking about that, we anticipate that the sweepiness will perform better hand on hand, and that is indicated in the data. And then when you look at performing to the opposite hand, and the sweep is not as indicative of success. It's more so driven by velocity. Something to remember is we touched on this in a video previously about not throwing so many fastballs and about how four of the last five Cy Young winners have utilized less than 50% fastballs in their arsenals in their respective seasons. So sliders overall uh, are gonna give you a lot of bang for your buck in terms of chasing after whiffs. Now how you do that is gonna differ right on right versus right on left. So in looking at this, right on right, once you're getting past about 10 inches of sweep, we can see whiff rate is pretty high throughout there and WOBA is low. In terms of vertical break, it actually stabilizes on the line pretty well, so the depth is not that critical to success. Velocity getting above 83 puts you in a very successful situation as well. Now, right-handed sliders versus lefties, the velocity protocol shifts up a little bit. You're looking at mid to upper 80s. In the sweep, we don't really see a ton of return until we're pushing out towards 20 inches of sweep, which is outlier type numbers. 
so getting there can be more difficult. However, depth is really a big indicator with whiff rates to left-handed batters. So until we're getting near zero, we can see the whiff rate is way down on sweepy sliders. So as you're chasing after that sweep, you have to remember if you're not creating depth, it's not gonna perform that well right on left. So keeping that in mind. A good example of somebody's slider who has transformed throughout the years is Blake Trinan. Trinan historically had thrown more of a gyro type slider with exceptional velocity. He since has been able to add more and more sweep to that pitch while not sacrificing a ton of velocity. So he's still mid to upper 80s with the pitch in terms of velocity, but has pushed the sweep envelope. This past year, he had a career low in WOBA against to right-handed batters at a minuscule 104, and he actually was the same to left-handed hitters as well. It's worth noting that he's also completely flipped his arsenal right on left, where he's only utilizing less than 5% sinkers to those batters now and really going cutter slider four seam. So seeing how his approach has altered right on left has been pretty cool to witness. So going back to the inflections with sinkers, you think about how we discussed they don't perform as well to the opposite hand hitter. He's adjusted great in his arsenal in doing so. So again, to, to just give a little bit of a brief recap here, sweep, really beneficial hand on hand can generate a ton of whiffs. Velocity not having to be that important. Where we're looking at right on left, depth is going to be more important and then velocity is also going to be a little bit of a higher requirement to really get advantageous numbers with that. So that's a review here of right-handed sliders to both right-handed and left-handed hitters. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.